Hey, if you want to talk about hockey towns, the conversation ends with War Road, Minnesota. Seven Olympians, five NHL players, and over 80 D1 players. You cannot compete with those numbers. I, how is this even possible? The emphasis on this town must be on hockey. Warroad is located six miles from Canada. So we're, we're not close to anything. Well, we have a legacy that goes back a really long time. You know, hockey is basically a way of life for, for everybody up here. You know, I, I hear people say that there's more life than hockey. Not in world. Well, the sign says hockey town. Come early, stay late, and skate every day. One of the things that we offer here is unlimited ice time. Hockey is basically free here. You know, if you want to get good, the ice time is there. Kids in Warroad, they start at a very young age. You know, as soon as they can walk, they're on the ice. But that's one of the things that I like to really keep track of is how many of those kids have taken the opportunity, developed their talent, and went on to play after high school. There's been just so many of them, it's, it's kind of hard to keep track of, to be honest with you. My dad started the hockey program at North Dakota. Uncle Gordon played in 1956, won a medal and my dad played 1960. He also won a medal with my uncle Roger. My brother David also played in 1980 and won a medal. The three Christian brothers. Henry Boucher. Brock Nelson. TJ Oshie. Gigi Marvin. Nine girls that have played Division I and, and probably close to 70 boys that have gone on to Division I. Every United States men's gold-winning hockey team has had a player from World Minnesota on it. If they want to win a gold medal going forward, they better make sure they have somebody from Warroad on that team. You're rubbing shoulders with someone pretty special, but you know, they're just neighbors and friends and that happen to win gold medals. That's the secret, having people that have been there. You know, they, they see that, you know, the TJ Oshies, the Brock Nelsons, the, the Henry Boucher's, and, you know, I said at, at one point in time, they're in the, you know, very same seats that you were sitting in. I think it gives us hope knowing that it's possible coming from such a small town. The people that have come out of here have been from different generations. So the younger kids always have someone that they're like, oh, if he can do it, I can do it. It's not just one kid made it out of our town and that's great. It keeps going. It's the passion and the rich storied tradition. Kids think that it's attainable and it's proven that it is. People move to Warroad for hockey. They build rinks in their backyard. There are a lot of hockey towns in the USA, but there's only one hockey town in the USA.